Hi, my name is Monique and welcome to my channel and my channel is called Dutch Monique because I am from the Netherlands and if you see me like this with a little yes, uh, Dutch word is spelled with a little clip in my hair then you know it is time for my eyeshadow project what is my eyeshadow project? well, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I seem to grab the same one each time and all the others were lying in my drawer and they do need all the love and attention because they are all beautiful so I thought well what can I do to get the most use out of my palettes so I thought well let's do an eyeshadow palette that means I'll pick an eyeshadow palette and that one I will be using for the next 14 days and I will make several looks with it and I post the, the looks on Instagram so that is the ID so yeah that's my project I'm not using the, the palette for each I'm not using the palette each day because I also have a job and my job means that I have to uh, get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and then I do a little easy makeup because I'm a nurse and I have to wear and uh, well, a mondkapje, that's the Dutch word. <laughs> and um, yes, so then when I'm working, I only do my brows, my brows, and a little bit of mascara and simple uh, one swipe eye, uh, eyeshadow. And that's it, because yes, everything is behind my mask. That was the word mask. Uh, so yes and six o'clock in the morning i don't i don't have the time to do my makeup i just want then a quick makeup and now when i am free when i have the day off or when i have the evening shift then i have in the morning the time to do my makeup and then i'm doing it relaxed on my own schedule in my own time i take the time for it so that is when i am using the palette that is in my project so i hope that is clear the pictures if I have made a look I'll take a picture and the picture I am posting on my Instagram account so at the end of the two weeks I post the, the picture with several looks on my Instagram and my Instagram is DutchMonique67 so if you're not following me there go ahead I love you to see I love to see you there yeah Yes, speaking is sometimes difficult because English is not my first language. We learn it at school, we have subtitles, so we hear a lot of English on the television. We hear, of course, a lot of English in, uh, on the radio, but it's not my first language. So sometimes I have to uh, look at words because I'm thinking Dutch in my head and then I have to speak English. So I need to think English in my head and then the words come right out at least I think they do well, uh, let's start last uh, last 14 days was in my project the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette it is the small one, it is the mini and I loved it it comes in a tin uh, box it has a magnet and this was the color story that I have worked with and I must say I loved it, I loved it very much I've made beautiful eye looks, it smells it smells great, it smells really nice but the moment you apply it on your eyes, the smell is gone so that was a really nice eyeshadow palette, yeah I liked it if you can get your hands on it, I will recommend it to you because it is nice, it's a fun palettes to play with okay the next palette for the new palette for my uh, project that I will be using is a gift yes I have received a gift from my lovely friend Sandra she also has a channel that's called Sussex Sandra I link her video up here if I remember it I'm sorry if I didn't do it but if you well I link the video of the giveaway Yes, I link that up here and through that video you can 
uh, check out her channel she's great she's lovely and she sent me this eyeshadow palette from Siate it was a gift for Christmas we sent each other a gift for Christmas so uh, she sent me this and I was so pleased with it because yeah it has written my name all over it the color story is really me I do love the the name of this uh, eyeshadow palette it is I am a woman what is your superpower we women are super women yes we are yeah we need to be proud of ourselves my mother always says and she's joking because she loves my father very very much she's always saying men are unnecessarily needs <laughs> That's what my mother is saying. Not my words, my mother. <laughs> but, uh, yes, she has a yeah, sense of humor. Um, the packaging is the same as the box. And this is the color story that we will be working with for the next 14 days. I love it. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the Huda nude palette. It reminds me of that. But it also reminds me of a palette of uh, a Tarte eyeshadow palette, the latest one, Blooming, if I'm right. It reminds me also of that. But yeah, Tarte isn't available here in the Netherlands. We can, can't, can't buy it in shops. Because we only have Douglas and Easy Perry and they don't sell Tarte. I can go to Germany because Germany has a Sephora and Sephora is selling Tarte. But then I have to drive for three hours. Hmm yeah Germany is our neighbor um, the fact that I like so much about this palette is that all the colors have names of important women in history we have Joan of Arc we have Cleopatra we have Ella Fitzgerald we have Harriet Tubman Eleanor Roosevelt well you call it they are here Amelia Earhart and this color is called you we oui. yeah and the fun fact in the box also is a little leaflet with all the ladies and what they have done in the future so if you want to know a little bit background information about the ladies that's in here okay let's start it's a large palette to swatch, uh, but I will do that. <coughs> or maybe I, yeah, yeah, maybe I will swatch because it's such a large palette to swatch. I will swatch two colors of each um, of each row, and then I'll uh, swatch um, the swatches. I will post on my Instagram all the swatches I will post on my Instagram I think I will do that so of the first row I will uh, swatch Sony Near Truth and Cleopatra because it's a lot to do it all in the second row I will do uh, Harriet Tubman and Ella Fitzgerald. So, yes. The third row will be uh, Madame C.J. Walker and Maria Curie. And then the last row, uh, Bodica and Amelia Robinson. And I'll take you. Oh, I like that one. So, so this is a small overview of the 
of the palette and it I must say it swatched really really well so that is okay now let's take the swatches away clean my arm and then we will start and I am so excited to use this palette because I have received the package almost two weeks ago but then I will already start it with with the, the gingerbread uh, palette so I had to wait <laughs> and it was hard it was hard okay um, I am also using the brushes that Sandra has gave me look at this they are these are beautiful the color I love it I love the color let's start I have my little mirror here beside me and I will start with a transition color I will bring you a little bit closer to me of course then you can see it and I will start with May Jameson Jameson that color here of course I have already prepped my face I have um, I primed it, I have a foundation on it and I have my winkies done so I will bring you a little bit closer to me yes uh, how would I have to turn you a little bit so yes that's better okay let's start oh a little bit closer just a little bit closer yes okay so let's start with this color in just not in the grease just above the grease I apply my transition color and I must say I like this color oh, it is a great one yes I love it Oh, I am already in love with the eyeshadow palette and then I have just started and the brush is very nice it's a very soft brush and it blends beautiful yes okay next eye just again above the grease and then I'll blend it upwards because if you are older you don't well gravity is your enemy so I am blending it upwards in circular movements as you can see that's nice then we go to the inner corner here or the outer V inner corner outer V I don't know the inner corner is here the corner the outer corner or the outer V just gave it a name I don't mind uh, I will go for a little purpley look I think mm, I go with the color bow that one here and that will go in here and I will first always tap it because as you can see yes I have a little bit of a loose skin and then I'll blend it into the in the grease because yes I'm, I'm, I'm almost 55 so it isn't really firm here anymore and then I will tap it and then blend it so yes and do that and I also have to mention and I do that every time I know I open my eyes with an open eye and I'll 
make a straight line to the outer V and there is where I want my eyeshadow, the outer V to end so and always upwards blend it upwards and then from there I'll blend it in the grease in a straight line it gives your eye a lifting effect it's not something that I have discovered it is a tip I have uh, seen Wayne Gus uh, gave it on his uh, on his channel and I thought well that is one to remember I do love seeing him his uh, channel because you can learn a lot from him well, of course he is a profession so yeah so I'm doing the same thing here I'm going up and blend in in the grease blend the color in the grease so. blend it upwards and then in the grease oh I have a number of Guns N' Roses in my head sweet child of mine I love that song I really do love that song okay that's that then I want to darken it a little bit more because I think it is a little bit too light and I will take Hattie McDaniel that one here and that is just going into the car Corn corner just a little bit there circle upwards 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 like that oh uh, it's too much let's see yeah that's better and then to yes and then I'll grab my first brush and then I am blending the the hard edges so that it makes a softer look because it is a soft color so I don't like my eyeshadow to be um, yes that it has hard lines I like to yes that is blending into the skin so yes okay well then what shall we do on the eyelid and this is what is this oh that is nice yes that is a nice color I will go with a Jungo Tabai that one there and I will first see if I can apply it with uh, oh it's a glitter see if I can apply it with a brush and I'm taking a handkerchief because it is glitter and if I'm not doing this then it's all over the place uh, no I'm doing it with my finger because I don't want to take the risk that it is uh... no it's not bad and, uh, I want to say I don't want to take the risk that it is all over my face later but it's not bad wow that is glitter whoa okay oh I like this it is a really soft glitter because look it's on the finger it's like that it is really soft and when you press it it immediately 
uh, grabs to your eyelid it's not sharp so yeah oh I like that Ooh. yes I love it Ooh. okay then underneath the eye um, uh, I'm going in with Baudicchia again for under the lashes and I am using this really funny brush look look how it looks this is so funny I think this is perfect for uh, blending and smudging uh, let's go let's start under here oh yeah it is really nice for for that yes okay uh, again other eye I must say my first impression of the quality is amazing I do like the quality the the mats are blending perfect and even that that glitter is it was so easy to apply on the eyelids I like this okay well it's getting somewhere mm -hmm. yes not bad not bad and then in the corner because I like a little bit of glitter in the corner I will take clothes that Colvin or Ella Fitzgerald? Well, I think I will go with that color here, just in the inner corner, and I will take the same brush just to apply it here. Yes, oh, I like this. Oh, well. Sandra, Sandra does know what she's giving me. Wow! Like it. It is amazing. Love it. Love the quality. Love everything. I will apply the rest of my makeup um, off camera, and then I will be right back. See you soon. Yes, I'm back. And what do you think about it? I will come a little bit closer to you so you can see how it turned out. I think it is amazing. I love it. I love it. I am so impressed with the quality of this eyeshadow palette. I love it. The colors I, I love. Um, let's see if I can remember which colors I have used. I started with um, May Jamison as a transition color, then in the uh, outer V and in the transition I blended out a uh, Bodica. Then to darken it up, the outer V, I've used Hattie McDaniel. And then on the eyelid, Jungo Tabai that color here and in the corner I've used a Claudette Colvin that one there yes beautiful just beautiful this eyeshadow palette and I do like the eye look that I have created with it well if you are curious about the other eye looks well um, when at the end of the project I will post them on my Instagram account like I have said, like I have mentioned in the beginning of this video, I hope you like this video. I hope uh, you get inspired by also doing some kind of project that you are uh, rollating in your eyeshadow palettes. I don't know how much you have, but I bet you do. You have more than one, or two, or three, or four, maybe five, maybe fifteen. I wish you a very very nice day and I hope to see you soon 
like this video and if you are not subscribed yet please do just hit that little red button there it is for free it doesn't cost you anything but it means the world to me hope to see you soon stay safe and be kind to each other bye